This guy is being harassed by badge tyrants, and he's sick of it. All right, Sergeant's on his way, okay? Why isn't he here? He can't just appear, like, out of nowhere. Well, okay, you can. Oh, blaze past me. Blaze and you're... past you. Yep. Blaze past you. Yep. So if you're saying I have warrants, you better arrest me. Do you have your ID with you? I do. Okay, let me see it. No thanks. You've already violated my Fourth Amendment, right? Okay. You're working on the first and the fifth and the sixth, and I'm not going to help you. I still can't get ID from him. <laughs> oh, God, that's fucking hilarious. I'm being detained against my fucking will. No longer able to travel freely and unmolested. What we have here, the guy in this car, his name is Eric Allred. This is Eric Allred, and this is his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the description and the pinned comment. He's being harassed by the Carbon County Sheriff's Office in Utah. We're going to watch this video, but you know what? Americans like Eric are sick and tired of being harassed. They're sick and tired of being economically terrorized. They're sick and tired of having their rights taken away under the color of law. This is an example of deprivation of rights under color of law. And generally speaking, cops are not personally held accountable for their tyrannical actions. We don't accept tyranny in any other avenue in our life, but all of a sudden we're going to start accepting tyranny when it has to do with law enforcement tyranny, government sanctioned tyranny. We're going to watch this and we're going to make, make some comments along the way, but listen to how Eric, listen to his voice, look at his demeanor. He and multitudes of Americans that he represents are sick of this. All right, Sergeant's on his way, okay? Why isn't he here? He can't just appear like out of nowhere. Well, okay, you can. Well, now refresh, refresh my memory on what this stop is about. When you drove past me, yeah. after I had that traffic stop back there, yeah. Blaze past me. Blaze your... past you. Yeah. Blaze past you. Yep. Okay. So I ran the plate on this vehicle. Yeah, no. back to Eric Allred, who has warrants. I'm going to make okay. sure. Okay, well, that's, that that's me. Arrest me. Let's go. Do you have warrants? You're saying I do. I guess I must. There's a lot of Eric Allreds out there. I'm trying to verify if this is you or not. Well, you know, when you radioed in the plates to this vehicle or this private automobile, you got me. So if you're saying I have warrants, you better arrest me. Okay. Do you have your ID with you? I do. Okay, let me see it. No thanks. Just so look at this guy's face. He's sick of it. And rightly so. How many Americans have to be harassed? How many have to be economically terrorized? How many have to be bludgeoned, handcuffed, thrown in the back of a police car, a hot police car, or a police car sitting on railroad tracks? How many people have to have their rights taken away, taken down to be fingerprinted, and thrown into a cage? How many? How, how long does it have to go on? my fourth amendment right okay. you're working on the first and the fifth and the sixth and i'm not going to help see that dog in his back seat that dog's in jeopardy when cops are around you're working on the first and the fifth and the sixth and i'm not going to help you okay unbelievable still can't get id from him so okay I don't know, but he seems to have a problem with me, so let's get to It's truly psychotic. Imagine pulling somebody over, harassing them, interrupting their day, coming along the side of their car and saying, hey, how can I help you? Isn't it evident? I just want to be free. I just want to travel unmolested. I don't want to be harassed. How can I help you? To the bottom of it, real quick, like... <laughs> oh god that's fucking hilarious do you not have marijuana on yet dude be serious I, i'm being serious well you're evidently full of shit okay. if you're smelling weed you need something to do go down to the border and work we need good help down there so how can i help you today I'm being detained for what reason? I don't know. I have warrants. If that's the case, let's go. I don't like playing fucking games. Okay. 
I'm being detained against my fucking will. No longer able to travel fl- freely and unmolested. Okay. So do you have identification on you? Yeah, he pulled the I smell weed card. That right there lets you know this is a, a fishing expedition. The first guy said, well, he blazed by me. Well, how fast is blazing speed? First, it's he blazed by me. Now it's we smell weed. Or we smell weed and that gives us justification. That In their minds, that gives us probable cause or even the minimum reasonable articulable suspicion to keep you detained so we can investigate. Any, uh, anything I give you will be used against me. This private automobile is registered to me. Okay, but... But nothing. He needs to have your identification. Well, have, have I, am I suspected of committing a crime? From my understanding, yes. Oh, well, what care to articulate that crime? Tell him what crime he committed. <laughs> tell him, tell him, tell him. Uh, uh, oh, uh, my God. So YouTube, you here over, we come. Did he move over or slow down in any of those things? He didn't slow down. He, he moved over, but... Now he's prodding the guy who initially pulled Eric over. Come on, did, 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 come on. There's something. There's something. What is it? What is it? Uh, uh, uh. me enough to get my attention. Okay. So then, yeah, I was hauling ass, huh? That's what like. Fucking kidding me. Okay, so what a joke. That's the crime he broke. Oh, crimes. No, you're alleging in front. You hear what he said? That's the crime he broke instead of that's the law he broke. That's the crime he broke. I mean, it's our crime ring. What are we going to do here? Actions? What crime? Failure to yield. Failure, Failure to, to yield. Failure to move over. over to, for, uh, Failure to kiss your ass. Oh, and I blew past you? Okay. Eric, so. So first it was blew past. Now it's failure to yield or fail to pull over for an emergency vehicle with the lights flashing. And now it's, I smell weed. Unbelievable. Well, let's see these warrants. Come on, let's go. Well, we need your ID. Pull me out. Whoa. So I'm going to have you step out, Eric. No, you're, you're not. Out. I'm not stepping out. I don't feel safe. How about that? Okay, well, we don't feel safe with the gun being right next Well, time. then I'd like to be on my way and free to go. We, the men who are carrying guns, don't feel safe you being in the car next to a gun. The hypocrisy is unprecedented. As soon as we... As soon as... Make sure nothing. You say you smell weed? Get the drug dog over here so I can throw it in your face. Come on. Never say that because they'll take that as consent. Well, you told us to get the drug dog. You told us to violate your rights. Yeah, never say something like that. I, I I understand it's sarcasm, but they are not going to take that as sarcasm. They're going to take that as, well, you gave us consent. Look, we got it on video recording. We got it on audio recording. David, step out. We're going to get the dog. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't feel safe. Eric, come on, dude. This ain't come on, nothing. Eric, I'm asking you to stop. Well, you can ask all you want. I don't feel safe. It's going from a citation. I uh, ain't going for shit. To me. Who taught you? Where, where'd you go to cop school? I've went to Violate cop. rights. Violate rights. By the way, if you do give them consent, whether it's sarcastic and they took it as real consent or you really gave them consent, you can always withdraw consent. Always. At any point. Okay, listen to me. It's going from you guys are a joke. It's going from a simple, probably a warning to a to you're going a, to jail. Well, well, then let's go. Okay, step out. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. Okay. Step back to you. Fuck you guys. You need something to do? Yeah, I know you want to hit me. Go for it. Go on stage, yeah. Oh, we got crimes here. You ain't touching me. You don't fucking touch me. We're gonna pat you down. You know the fuck you are. Right. Pat, no, don't be grabbing me up. Pat, I'm gonna put the detainee. It's so humiliating and so demoralizing, but that is part of the psychological operation when you're talking about law enforcement. You have to humiliate your subject. You have to demoralize your subject. Then you have him exactly where you want him. Oh, you're detaining me for what crime? Not. So any crime, you're being detained because of officer safety reasons. Oh. There you go. There you go. Officer, it's not that you committed a crime. You're not being detained for any kind of crime. He made it absolutely clear. We value our lives more than we value your rights. Officer safety trumps individual rights. Listen. Detaining you just for now. Oh, you're detaining me for what crime? 
You're not children. any crime. You're being detained because of officer safety reasons. Oh, pussy reasons. Bring your hand around there. Don't get fucking fucking now this is when they have the camera when when they put his hands behind his back he's still got the camera in his hands when they're arresting him and then they take the video camera and it continues to record Am I being detained? Yeah, we told you you were. What crime? No crime. You're being detained for officer safety. Oh, for officer safety. Great. That's twice. That's twice. That's twice they said you're not being arrested for a crime. You're being arrested for officer safety. And they call it detention. Guys, these are synonymous terms. They they try to employ wordplay. They use all these euphemisms. If you're being arrested, you're being detained. If you're being detained, you're being arrested. It doesn't matter about the, the length of time that you're arrested or detained. You are not free to go. You don't have freedoms at this point when you're arrested or detained. Are you body cam on? It sure is. Thank God. Mine's probably gonna get erased. Show. Show. We the people had enough of your bullshit. That is absolutely true. We have had enough of your BS. Looks like he's trying to figure out how to turn it off. There you go. Before I put anyone in my vehicle, I'm just making sure they don't have any weapons. I don't want to go in your fucking vehicle. You're going in my vehicle, so. Well, I am. For what crime? No crime. Oh, no crime. That is the third time they said, you're not arrested and we're not throwing you in the back of the car for a crime. This is for officer safety. Third time. Circus, get Jeff down here, fuck face. Fucking assholes. All right, I, I'm not going to play this part because it's probably copyrighted. That's probably why they put him in the cop car and kept the radio going because they knew that, that his video uh, recording was still going. And uh, they, they tend to do that. They try to turn on music, copyrighted music, so you can't upload the video to YouTube and be monetized. Seats! Seats! This is kind of rehashing from a different body cam perspective. Blake. So he's just got that big pit bull in there that's trying to get out. Okay. Okay. No, you're cool. going into that. So uh, you smell weed. I smell weed. Okay. So and then he's not identifying himself. You smelled weed, didn't you, Muggsy? Yeah, I smelled weed too. And they're going to tell this third guy, hey, stick your nose in there. See if you smell weed. So, and, that, and then yeah. that firearm, when I first pulled him over, he had, did you see the stuff next to him? Yeah. It was completely covered. Was that? So, so here, run him. Stick your head in there, see if you can smell weed. Of this yeah i smell faint but yeah so now you got three cops who are colluding and conspiring against this guy and it looks like 18 usc 241 conspiracy against rights sure looks like 18 usc 242 deprivation of rights under color of law yeah it's faint but yeah i smell it too so that's three witnesses three state functionaries against this one man who just wants to be free on the dog the most when he moved at me, but yeah, right before the dog moved at me. Just that so as soon as I came up here, that was the first thing. Was, like as I'm approaching the vehicle, it's where I smell. Yeah. He's so cute though. I don't like that guy. No. Did you run triple IC? He's That's a good boy. He's a good I'm, boy. This is the first I've seen his ID. Price one or twenty. Can you also check triple I? 
Yeah, the reason for a stop is if I'm sitting there getting off of a stop and I notice a vehicle, if I notice a vehicle like that flying by, yeah, I'm in wrong play. If your lights are still activated, it doesn't matter if you're still in the stop. Your lights are on, they have to significantly slow down or move over as far as possible. So. Man, if, if that's the criteria, the subjective criteria, they could pull you over for anything at any time for any reason so they can conduct their fishing expedition on you. So let's... Uh... So this failure to yield has now turned to we smell weed, which has now turned to get out the drug dog, which now turned into you're arrested and sitting in the back of a cop car until we have our way with you and your property. Leash. Do you have a clip leash or is it? I I've, think I have a clip leash. I've got that. <laughs> I got scared just for a brief second. What did he say? <laughs> I got scared just for a brief second. Couldn't see the vehicle. Yeah. yeah. I pulled off just so they could see all of our life. I got scared for a brief second is what he said. Before we take him out of cuffs, I'm just going to explain his ticket to him. It's unlocked. I could explain it to him with him out of the cuffs, but I want to keep him in the torture cuffs while I, I explain it. There's your psychopathy right there. There's the mental underpinnings of an individual who wants to see another person continue to suffer while he reads him what his ticket is about. He knows this guy's not gonna lash out at him so that the state can come and hunt him down, but they're gonna keep him in cuffs while they read his ticket to him. Hey Derek, you step out. Okay, yeah, let me just explain your citation to you, okay? Citation. Yep. So, you're gonna have to take care of this within five, or within 14 days, but no sooner than five. We do that at Carbon County Justice Court, which I've circled there. That's their address, that's their phone number, okay? So I just failed to move over or slow down for emergency vehicle. Failure to yield or slow down for an emergency vehicle. Okay. Just like the car in front of me, and the, maybe the car behind me. Oh, it'll, don't worry, just and don't miss court. You'll be, I'll be there. Okay. Is that for you? Alright, these cards, that'd be me. Okay. Sergeant Adley, and Deputy Noyce. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day, drive safe. Have a good day. All right, so again, that's Eric Allred, and he just got done getting harassed by the Carbon County Sheriff's Office in Utah. I will leave the link to Eric Allred's YouTube channel and the Carbon County Sheriff's Office from Utah. I'll leave their Facebook page link in the description. There is a phone number there, by the way, a public phone number. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comments below. Is it time for Americans to say, you know what? Enough is enough. We're not going to roll over. We're not going to bow down. We're not going to placate. We're not going to comply with your illegal commands. This is a USC, 18 USC 242 deprivation of rights under color of law. This is conspiracy against rights clearly. And you cops need to be held personally responsible. The lawsuits should fall at your feet, not at the feet of tax collectors. Remember, the price of freedom is now and will always be eternal vigilance and indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube and on Instagram. I will see you guys in the next video.